Wendy, aka Kitty Street. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing fantastic. And I've been back to Walmart. Now, I tell you all the time, I pick and choose my things about Walmart because I can get in so much trouble. And I actually don't have a lot of things to show you, but I have something that is just making me so happy right now that I had to do a video because, guys, Walmart is one of those places they have good clearance. They have good markdowns. Now, a lot of stuff is crazy town money, but if you go and you just take your time and sometimes just ask a question, something that you think skyrocketing um, in the prices may be on clearance. Now, I've had heard this and that about using the Walmart app where you can do and scan the codes. You have to be careful of what you actually see on the shelves as far as prices because when you get up to the actual cash register, the, it, sometimes the things are totally different. That happened to me on a, a recent trip on some stuff that I, I've already used because I wasn't even going to do this Walmart haul, but I said, nope, I got to come and let you guys know, especially my, my well-known subscribers, how Walmart can get you some deals on stuff that you just have to have. And maybe you don't have to have, but you just want it. With all that said, I'm going to jump right on into this Walmart haul. I do have just some, you know, not a lot of little things, but I did have some food items, but they're all upstairs in the refrigerator. It was stuff like potatoes, some sour cream. What else did I get? I got um, so I have another thing of lettuce. Lettuce has gotten good to be ridiculous. So I didn't bring all that stuff down there because, uh, you know, You've seen that stuff before. We know Walmart has that kind of stuff. What I want to show you is some stuff that I got on clearance, some stuff that I went there specifically to buy because I was on the hunt for it and I had to pay the top dollar for it. And one item that I'm going to probably return because I found it somewhere else cheaper. And I think I'll start off with that one. Let's just start off with that one right away. It's one of these Palm Perfect, um, what is this called? Is it? It's a beauty trim, personal hair trimmer. Um, the reason why, well, I may or may not, I got to think about this because the reason why I picked this up, because this right here was $9.99, almost 10 bucks, which is a lot of money. And I've had these with these little shavers that are real, real thin and they're not the greatest, but this one got me here with the use wet or dry. Um, sometimes I have, you know, little fuzz hairs or little hairs on my, my chin. I have hairs around my mustache area and I have been using this, these kind of shavers probably forever and ever and ever. I know about 10 years. And I used to give them out to people I knew who needed them as well um, for Christmas gifts and stocking stuffers because they used to be dirt cheap back in the day. And I had this one brand and I can't think of it to save my life, but it's silver with a purple top. I can't even believe that went out of my head that quick. I usually get it like at Ross or at TJ Maxx or I've even ordered it off Kohl's. Um, I've ordered it off a lot on Walmart, um, but I haven't seen them. And that's the one I really, really want. But I didn't see it at all, and I saw this one, and I needed one. I needed one because I was finding myself getting little hairs here, and I said, you know what I need? I, I completely used up all my razors, and I have had probably backup on top of a backup on top of a backup of my razors, and they were gone. So I'm going to be on the hunt for the one I always use, but in the meanwhile, I may be using this one, but I'm going to just say it right here. I did get a couple of these off Timu for a lot less than $10, a lot less than $9.99, I don't know how well they work. Well, I actually used it on this little chin fuzz hair today. So, I, I, it did work. It, it was okay. But again, I'm more partial to a bigger size little area here because it covers more. This, These right here tend not to get as much and they, they gunk up real quick, if you know what I mean. Comment, let me know if you would use this kind of thing. One thing I will say, it did come with a battery. For the most part, most of them do, but the ones I got off Timu did not. And I will try to either do a review or I don't even know if you've seen that that video, but I have already recorded it. That's coming to soon. I've got so many videos I got to get out to you guys, but I had to do this Walmart one. So yeah, I buy these and I give them out. <laughs> you know, I'm going to drop something. You know, it's going to happen. Laugh with me. Don't laugh at me, but laugh with me. Um, yeah, I went ahead and got it. I, I'm on the fence about it. I don't know if I want to keep it or not because it's kind of expensive, 
The other ones that I used to buy are like five, six bucks, but I cannot find them anywhere. And it's one of those things that I do want, but I kind of like the idea of having it be able to use it when it's wet or dry. So $9.99 for a face hair trimmer. Yeah, but that's not what I went there to get. I went there to get some Pantene shampoo because I got some Pantene conditioner, which I thought was shampoo at Dee Dee's discount stores for the same amount of, well, no, that one was just actually 32 ounces. This one's 27.7 ounces. And it was, I want to say $6. It was $6 and some change, something like that. And I was bummed out because I said, oh my gosh, that's the conditioner. I didn't get the actual shampoo. And I hunted and hunted and hunted around and I got to the point where I have a smaller little travel size that I showed you guys where I got the small shampoo and the small conditioner, but I'm going to really keep that for traveling. And I like the pumps and I was going to just pour that in my old pump, but then I just saw this one and it was $6 and 97 cents. So it wasn't much more than what I paid at Dee Dee's. And that's not really that bad for Walmart. Because when I buy it at Ollie's, it's usually I have a 15% off coupon. And they're like about $5.99. Well, they used to be like $4.99. Then they went up to $5.99. But with the 15% with the off, it you know, comes down. But this was $6.97. And I went ahead and grabbed it. Because I'm completely out of it. And I need it. And I need a haircut. I'm about to go do all that stuff I need to get. I'm going to hopefully get this these nail polish off my hands. And work on some of the poly nail stuff that I bought that I want to show you guys. But... $6.97. I don't like it. I wish I would have had a coupon, but I ran out. And that's what happens. Comment, let me know. Um, I learned a lesson a long time ago. Like you buy your winter clothes in the summer and your summer clothes in the winter. You get prepared because if you wait till that season, things are 15 times more. Well, same thing is with shampoos, deodorants, you know, hair dye, which I'm about to show you next. That stuff, if you don't get it um, and have a backup and, and, you know, have spares to go, when you run out, you have to pay out the nose for it. So if I don't continue to find it any, uh, where I used to get it, like Ollie's or at these discount bargain stores, I'm going to have to start clipping coupons again because they do have coupons for Pantene. But I didn't have one for this trip, and I was kind of like, uh, you win some, you lose some, right? I did grab another one of these because I am trying my doggone this to get this brown out of the back of my hair. It just doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> It doesn't want to match the gray in the front, right? But this is the one that I go to, that I use, I've been using forever and ever and ever. I actually always used to do, used to use Ash Brown. This is number five, and I think Ash Brown was like number, I want to say it was like 21 or something like that. But I always go towards the Ash ones because I have red in my hair. Um, and if you don't, if I don't do the Ash ones, it will turn, it will be really, really brown, like a coppery color. But this is Color Silk, beautiful color. It's, you know, I used to pay $1.99 at Walmart. Then I paid $2.50 forever in a day. Then it was $2.96 and now it's $3.97. I have a couple of these. I don't know if I've ever hauled them before. I think I've mentioned that I use these sometimes. And I only, you know, I wanted to have two or three boxes just in case, you know, I get a, a hair in my, up my, uh, you know, a hair in my, I don't know, I'm going to record that. And just in case I want to, you know, venture out and do some coloring in my hair at that point. Um, I wanted to have this on hand and they're getting more and more expensive. I might go in there and find, and they're usually only like one or two boxes of this one. This 05 is ultra light ash blonde, 100% um, gray coverage by Revlon. And it's like every time I go in there, there's only like one or two of this particular one. So I try to pick up one every other trip I go or every other trip because one day I'm going to walk in there and this thing's going to be like $10. So I try to stock up just to have it because I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay. So let's talk about some clearance items, okay? So do I need this? No, but 50 cents, I'm going to put this in my, um, it's going to go into like my emergency bag or like if I'm, you know, do it, if I ever do do some camping, I thought it would be cute to take. It's just a little pizza cutter. It's by that Mainstay, which is by, which is a Walmart brand. And of course the sticker's on top of it, but it just says Mainstay, Mainstay Pizza Cutter Stainless Steel Blade. Okay, and what's so funny, they had a they had tons of these for 50 cents. You can see right there, it's 50 cents. Sorry about the glare. 50 cents for this pizza cutter. And they had the same exact pizza cutter. And it, I looked, I mean, I guess the barcode might have been a little bit different. I think that had something over it. Had another, on another side of the store, a ton of them there for $1.69. And I was like, okay. So I made sure when I got up to the register that it was 50 cents. Because I did, I wore contacts and I did have this, this um, contact cleaner. 
it was a dual box and I've always purchased it at Walmart. It's like the Equati brand. It's the off brand. Um, and two bottles of contact solution cleaner to store your contacts in has always been between five and seven dollars. So when I saw the sign above it, when I walked in the door, I'm like, oh, I need to get some of that. I'm getting almost out. That's another one of the things that I didn't replenish when I should have. And it said six dollars and some change. And I said, well, that's not too bad. Let me grab it up. Well, when I got to the cash register, guess what? it rang up $10.96 because they're sneaky. They're sneaky, sneaky. Every, all the stores are sneaky. And I don't blame them. If I was running a store, I'd probably be sneaky too. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, they had those single bottles of contact solution cleaner right beside it. Didn't even register to me because like I said, I always paid um, for two bottles in a box about six to seven bucks. So I thought that was it. So I had to have a return. And the lady acted like I was being difficult because I said, well, you know, I'm not paying $10 for that. Um, I, I hope it ain't going to be $10 at other places, but I have a couple of ideas of places I'm going to go and I'm probably going to get two or three of them because my goodness, but I did pay 50 cents for another pizza cutter because I just thought I had to have it. And another thing that I just thought I had to have is this right here. And I think it's not that bad of a deal if it does what it says it's going to do. It was $3. Of course, you can see the little the clearance tag. And to give you a better idea for it, inside this box, there's like a long, you know, an adapter and a brush. It looks like a little bottle brush, but it's very, very thick. Um, you attach it to your, your garden hose and you can clean the wheels of your tires. Now, I'm going to probably get my, my son to do it. Um, you know, because it's, I have an SUV that's got to be cleaned up and it's either got to be put in the shop or it's going to have to be sold. It's taking up too much room and I'm paying insurance on it and it's, you know, nobody drives it because it needs some work done on it. And it's been sitting in my garage, but now my garage needs some work and I said, I got to get it out. And I thought we need to clean it and detail it and I might put it up for sale. I might fix it. I don't know. But when I saw this, I thought, oh, how cute. I mean, I used to have brushes to do the rims of the tires and the wheels of the tires, but I don't know where any of that stuff is. It's it probably got old and it's been years since I've even cleaned my own car, but I thought, mm, I'm going to get this and see if my son will do it. <laughs> and it's connects to any standard garden hose, which the, says the garden hose is not included. Of course, lightweight, durable. Um, I had never heard of this auto drive. I did look it up and you can't tell it up under here, but these are about like $9, $9.99. So $3, you know, eh. But I needed something similar to this because the 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 gunk around the wheels of the tires are bad. So I need, knew I needed some kind of scrubbing mechanism. And yeah, so it's got the little, it says water powered wheel brush. That's what it's called, a water power wheel brush. So I picked that up for, for $3. And I, like I said, I picked up a few groceries and, um, you know, some sour cream. I got some waters. Um, I did get some more Coke Zero <laughs> because I'm still not at that point yet. And as I was walking around, and, th and guys, I know I'm putting this out after Easter, but it was still Easter time. It was right before Easter. I think it was like the weekend of Easter when I was in, this, in the Walmart. And I walked by and there were these two worker people, you know, I call them the customer service workers at stock. And they were horsing around and playing around with each other, you know, a girl and a guy. And I thought, you know, live your best life. If you got to work, have fun doing it. But anyway, I saw something on the end cap <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. And I knew right out of my head. I said, well, that's probably not in my price range of what I want. And of course... I am wearing my Harry Potter um, hoodie that I purchased off of in Walmart for on clearance for $7. So I'm talking about Harry Potter, you know. So I saw this on the end cap and I was like, well, let me ask him how much it is. So I picked up one and I'll just show you an example of what it is, okay? So this is the Magic, Min Magic Minis, the Wizarding World Harry Potter um, little miniatures, okay? Now, these are the friendship sets. And this is the Harry Potter one. He's got his Hedwig, his owl, and I don't know, is that Jenny? I wanna say that's Jenny. I think it's Jenny. I'm pretty sure it's Jenny because she has dark hair. It doesn't say, I'm gonna see if I'm telling you right because I don't wanna tell you wrong. I thought it's told me on here, but I'm pretty sure that's Jenny. I know it is. But anyway, I picked this up and I said, can you tell me how much this is? Because it had above it $14.96. And I was like, if this is $14.96, that's highway robbery, even for Harry Potter stuff. So the little girl, um, you know, got her little wand out, her little 
price checker and she scanned this one. So this is the one with um, Harry Potter and Jenny with all their little things. Oh, that's not Jenny. Oh my gosh, the name is right there. It's Cho, it's Cho Chang. Okay, sorry about that guys. I was like, that's not Jenny. That's, um, that's one of the wonderful characters um, you know, you have to see these movies if you haven't. She's a real nice, sweet little girl, but she has some heartbreak for sure. Um, but they had this one, not Jenny. It was Harry Potter and um, Cho Chang. And then they had this one, which I don't, do not have a whole bunch of the uh, Ron Weasleys, okay? I have a bunch of other characters, but I do not have a lot of Ron Weasleys, which is Harry Potter's best friend and his sister, is who I thought this was, and I should have known better because they all have red hair. All the Weasleys, and I know you can't really see that because the glare have the red hair, and they got like little things with them, like his his animal was a rat, and that's a whole nother story. You have to watch it, and I don't know what that is. It's some little thing, a little pink thing, but anyway, these are the friendship sets. So you had this, this set, this set, and then this was the last one I saw, and this is Hagrid and Hermione and his dog, Rubius. I mean, well, Rubius Hagrid. And I don't know what the dog's name is, though. It just went out my brain. Oh my gosh, it'll probably come to me in a minute or I'll put it inside the, the screen here. But it, it was this one. And I don't have a lot of the giant. He's a giant and Hermione, Harry, and Ron, uh, Harry and Ron, <laughs> they're best friends, okay? And they got all the little things on here. Now that might be all the three sets for the friendship set. I don't know, but I picked it up. It said $14.96 on it. And I'm like, that's highway robbery. I'm repeating myself, right? And the little girl, and I'm saying she's a little girl because she was like a teenager. She was probably like a high school girl. So I guess I shouldn't call her a little girl, but the young lady, she came back and she says, they're $1. <laughs> I said, are you sure? I said, because I've been hearing that, um, because it says fourteen ninety six, apparently right there, that's what people would think this was. And she says, no, it's a clearance. And I'm like, well, when I get up to the register, are they going to give me beef about it? Because I, that's been happening to me, right? Because I picked these up another trip. This this is not the last trip that they got me with the, the contact cleaner. She says, they're $1. And she says, and if they're not, just come get me. I'm working right here and I will come and fix it. <laughs> so, guys, you know. You know, Wendy, AKK, AKA Kitty Street went ballistic. I did not get this. Let me start from the first because I had to tell you, I did not get not just one of the Harry Potter and Cho. I got two. So that's one and two. And then I got three. Okay. Now for $1, yes, I did. Because either if I don't resell these, I can give these to gifts. I can give them as prizes for people who love Harry Potter as much as I do. So I got three of the Harry Potter and Cho's. Okay. And then I got not one, not two, but three of the um, Jenny Weasley and Ron Weasley uh, friendship sets. And guys, these are the magical minis. Got three of those. Okay. So, you know, I'm in hog heaven. I'm in hog heaven. And then Hagrid, I did not get not one, not two, but three of these bad boys. So, I looked them up. And at the time of this filming, one of these was $14.96 on up to $24, 20, 23, 20 something. So, just between 15, say $14.96 to about 24 bucks. At different stores for this same thing that what did I just tell you was one dollar <laughs> and guys so I got all there's total of three six nine of them of each one of these one two of each one of these for all nine of them was nine dollars and some tax so it was like ten dollars and seventy cents I think was tax or ten oh seven I don't even know I don't have the receipt with me but it was right at a little over ten dollars because it had tax I think it might have been ten oh seven because it was nine dollars plus tax I don't know but do you know one of these was cost more than nine of these so I don't care who says what about bargain shopping? I'm going to have to rethink Walmart. Um, I'm really liking this dollar clearance. I got those dollar dresses. 
Now I got these dollar Harry Potters. I mean, I haven't found a deal like this in a long time. A while back, which I wasn't doing YouTube back in that time, which I wish I would have. I got the talking sorting hat on clearance there. I got multiple wands there. I got the, the chocolate frogs that you open up and they had little cards, like playing cards with all the different characters from the Harry Potter universe. Ah, uh, I might have to be checking out Walmart a little bit more than I have been because they're back in my good graces. And maybe I'll just go in and go beeline straight to the clearance and beeline out. So that way I don't spend all my money at Walmart. And I, I know not everybody is a Harry Potter fan. That's why I saved it to the end. And if you did hang out and you're not a Harry Potter fan, thank you for in, you know enjoying my happiness with me on my channel because these guys... Again, if I was out there hustling and trying to make money for my kids, like to get my daughter a pair of cleats or pay for my son's ROTC uh, field trip or, or do a fundraiser or just put gas in my freaking car, I would be trying to resell these things like nobody's business. But right now, I'm, I'm lucky I don't have to do that kind of stuff, but I will tell you what I will be doing. Um, I'm going to be, I've got a whole Harry Potter bunch of stuff I want to do, and there's a lot of people that do just check that out. And for those who like that, I'll eventually be doing prizes, and I might be giving some friends some of these friendship dollar clearance, magical minis, the Wizarding World, I can't believe it. And this one, the dog was always messed up. There was not, there was only a couple more, but I tried to find the best looking ones. But I'm going to end it right there, guys. I didn't really want to take up a lot of time because it wasn't a lot of things. But I will tell you this. Um, Walmart, hit or miss. But today or that day, and then, you know, the other stuff that I picked up on clearance, pretty good deals. Comment, let me know what you think. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I will see you in the next one very, very soon. Bye, guys.